Around the world, Switzerland's banking system has long been known for its discrete services. But what is the modern day phase of Swiss banking? This is what we will find out on today's edition of Inside AB. I'm Shruti Nair and this is Bernd de Busman. Right, so Bernie, this week we've got a feature on Lombard Odier uh, in Arabian business. So can you tell us more about the piece that you did? Sure. So what we have is an interview with Arnaud Leclerc, who is the partner and group managing director of Lombard Odier. And just a bit about the company. I mean, it's a very old company. It's been headquartered in Geneva since 1796. And around the world, its clients' assets total about $281 billion. Oh, wow. So it's a very substantial company. Uh, in the UAE, they probably manage about one more than a billion dollars. And across the GCC, they've grown about 14% year on year. Um, he's very discreet when you ask him about how much assets in each particular country. Of course, like, like you said, discretion is an important thing for a Swiss banker. Did you ask him that though? I, we, we did ask him that um, and he's very uh, non-committal with his response. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it is a, a very global company, it's about 27 offices in 23 different jurisdictions around the world. Right, but did he in general just tell you about his investment strategy? He did. So what they do is they kind of look at the long term. Um, so it's not necessarily about the sectors and the businesses that are doing well at the moment. Uh, but it's more about the future, which means that you're not going to get a quick, huge return with the sorts of investments that they do. What he said was that when you invest your savings, you shouldn't look at good, what is good now. You have to invest for the longer term. So they have a team of about 300 investment professionals around the world that kind of crunch numbers and data um, to see whether, what they can forecast in the future. Right, so uh, we've, we've seen a global picture of what Swiss Bank is up to, etc. But in the region, coming down to the UAE and the Middle East in general, what exactly is their plan? What are they up to? Well, they've been in the Middle East for about 50 years, so it's, they're not a new company in this region. But uh, recently, in 2012, they launched the first Sharia-compliant investment solutions that the company has. And then in February of last year, the Armani Sharia Supervisory Board certified its discretionary mandate as Sharia compliant. Um, so this is all kind of catering to this market in particular. Um, and they're going to continue to do that. And they're very strict about selecting Sharia securities to make sure they meet the criteria. Um, but also in the GCC, of course, there's a lot of very wealthy people. So this is a particularly good market for a Swiss bank at Lombardo Dia. Right, thank you, Bernie, for those insights. Uh, we will be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. So don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe.